Trudeau is at the end mm. of his time. It's a parliamentary system. He's hated by his own people. He's got a few months left. Trump will not be negotiating with him. He's gone. This is like the end of the parliamentary system, like Britain. A few months ago, they whacked their PM. Trudeau is, he, he's irrelevant. So now, Trump should actually bring down the prime minister in waiting, a guy named Pierre Paul Olivier. He is more, he's much more in sync with Trump. He's going to lift the ban on pipelines, eradicate no more carbon tax, and investing back in Canada. People want to invest there. And he's concerned about the border, concerned about fentanyl. He should go down to Mar-a-Lago now. Trudeau, irrelevant. Doesn't matter. What yeah. does any of this have to do with starting a trade war? Like, why can't you it's develop not, relationships with our allies? It's not a trade war when allies. you get in sync with these two economies. There's no way on earth we're That's talking about he's water, literally... paper, power, cars, gas, oil, all coming from Canada. Massive trading partnership. No chance in hell there'll be a tariff. Because, just finish the sentence, no chance because... It would be damaging or because no chance? Because it's a bad oh, no, it, it idea. Would, no, no, I just wanted would, to finish this idea. A 25% idea. tariff would devastate both countries. It's not going to happen. But the guy to be negotiating with is not Trudeau. He's a zero right now. Stage, I just need to ask one very important question. Scott Jennings and Kevin Leary, are they two of the dumbest people ever to appear as talking heads on cable news? If you think yes, just press the like button right now. Again, Leary and Jennings... It's almost like if the bottom of a toilet bowl could speak, that would be the oh, shit coming out of their mouths. It's national security, and it's this poison that is killing you, American you know, people all over oh, this country. I 100% agree. Like the, the fentanyl epidemic is horrible. It's tragic. We need to do and something China's about it. And China's part of it as well. And they're part and of it as well. You know that there actually was bipartisan legislation intended to to uh, increase our te uh, fentanyl detection technologies at the border, and Trump killed it. That was the bipartisan border bill that Trump basically unilaterally I know, you're, you're fight you, you keep fighting these old battles. It's Donald not an Trump, old battle. You're, you're, and, and you're not over it. No, Donald Trump you're won, it's a current and he wants, issue. And he saying wants we have a the border secured. That's the solution he, to but it. But he wants the That's Mex the solution to it. It's not the it. only solution, because Mexico has to do something. They it's have coming been up doing their something. country and right over our border. Do you know what, do you they know do nothing. It's a crisis. They do nothing. Do you know what's happened to border crossings in the last year? They've gone down by about 75%. It's a crisis. If you want to argue that it's safe, and secure your. That's I didn't crazy. Say that. I didn't say They've that. They got it at. They got it. I didn't say that. The, Mexican, saying, the Mexican crowd. Other people challenge. come into but, the but, conversation. What now. I would love is for Scott and Catherine to be able to just. Actually, Scott, to be able to say that had Trump not killed that piece of legislation, it would have helped. I don't with know the if border. it would have or not. Why not? What are you talking about? I don't know if it would have she or not. She just talked about the fentanyl program so, that was I don't involved know if she's, in that. I don't know if she's right. Maybe there is some legislation. I mean, but you this can is ask about John. But, you can ask this, Langford. He was the one who wrote Mexico. the bill. This is about Mexico and getting them yes, to it, pay attention to our priorities. It's about they, both countries. It's about. The America had a plan in place to get more border agents to help with the fentanyl problem. There is a we all, big we, we difference all, Why can't we just agree countries? that... And leave that, a bunch of people here that shouldn't be here. I mean, it wasn't a perfect Why can't we just say bill. that that would have been a I don't know if it would have. I don't necessarily agree. at the same time, Mexico needs to do something. Think about the lead. I being sort of the past remain in Mexico, all of these sort of pro but, programs that But again, that Mexico developed. has actually put a lot more border security on its mm, southern it's really border. Work, it's really working wonders. This is yeah, crazy. Again, they border crossings are down 75%. They're back to what they were under Trump. If I were her, I would be, I would be prepared for my country to possibly have United States military incursions to take out the drug factories and the people who do this to so us. So you think too. we should not only have a trade war, yes. we should have a military war I with think, Mexico. I think we have to do what we have to do to stop I'm, I'm glad we drugs. all agree we should be de-escalating. I think no, no, that's It sounds like remember the Alamo. I mean, it sounds... <laughs> It for, sounds for people, crazy. Like people who are gonna dying send, in so Kentucky. Not only is. are we going to send the military on people who are here in the United States, we're now going to send the military over the border to attack Mexico. No, I think Again, I it's think, Americans who are bringing the drugs. I think over. I think that I think there are there are the drugs strategic ways to use the Americans. United States military to control immigration here and drugs there. And Mexico needs to pay attention to this man and work with us or face the consequences. So of this is I would like to go to DEFCON one with China. Tariffs 400%. I brought it up. Yeah. Bring the supreme leader to Washington, or crush his economy until he has riots in the street. Uh, uh, again, food. we've had strategies to deal with China. No, don't we haven't. Oh, absolutely, Not we have. One administration since '99 has dealt with. I them. thought Trump was going to be tough on China. A, he had four years to do that. He's going to get I was going to say the TPP. This is time to really put so the screws. So is 35% tariff enough for China then? Because he says it's going to be 10% higher than Mexico and Canada. No, it's not.
No, it's not enough. Okay. What you have to do is target parts of their economy where there's a lot of workers. Uh, just for an example, let's say yoga mats. Let's say we import a million yoga mats a month. All the yoga mat factories, 400% tariffs on yoga mats. They all get unemployed. They go to the streets. They scream at Supreme Leader, I'm starving, riots. That's when he wakes we, up and says, wow, that. I can't just stay in my Can I just shot. ask? So. No, no, I do want to ask there one thing because for people at home, they're wondering how this works. Issue is we keep on going back to the same set of solutions that do not work, which is ever higher tariffs, which again, primarily are, are borne by American consumers and not China. So you suggest More we and ask them to be nicer? No. And kumbaya? No, them? I suggest that we get together with our allies and form a coalition of I the think willing. We're, we're, they, we're in an economic war. You think China's an ally? No. No. To, she meant to get rein together in with China, other allies. TPP, which is what Mitch McConnell, your former boss, was a big fan of yeah, back he's when a free Obama. Trader. Yeah, when, when Obama was president. And then it got dumped on basically by both parties, ultimately. Yeah. But that was the idea. It was that we were going to get together with our friends, we were going to set the rules of the road on trade, and we were going to essentially bully China into having to, to play by our rules they of the game. They don't follow rules. Well, well they wouldn't is, have any choice. No, to Catherine's point, though. We all get together. Cheating and lying. And yeah. Are we talking about China or are we talking about Trump? Which one are we talking about? To Catherine. Shit, what goes on at Mar-a-Lago is none of anybody's business. But something is wrong. They were auctioning a dog, a rescue dog off for $6,000. Is it, and it wasn't for charity. It's just everything about money. Why would you auction off a rescue dog? Matt. Um, you know, Italy has seen fascism. Italy has seen these things. You guys, you understand what happens. You have seen this before. My country is in its adolescence. Adolescence is very arrogant. Adolescence thinks it knows everything. Adolescence is naive and ignorant and arrogant. And we are in our ignorant, arrogant adolescence. We haven't seen this before in our country. So Americans who don't travel, who 80% don't have a passport, who are uneducated, are in their extraordinary naivete. What I can say is that the only way that we can help with these issues is to help each other. Now, we can't just say that women should help women because that's the only way we have survived so far. We must say that good men must help good men and those good men must be very aware that a lot of your friends are not good men. And you can't continue to pretend that your friends are good men when they are not good men. And you must be very clear-minded and understand that your friends who are not good men are dangerous, violent men. And you have to keep them away from your daughters, your wives, and your girlfriends. Because this is a time when we no, can no longer look away when bad men are bad. 